welcome back to another video. Today I am here with a very special guest. This is Shauna Coxey. Shauna Coxey is the UK's most successful competition climber ever. You've won multiple <laughs> World Cups and you even went to the Olympics. I sure did. Yeah. yeah, it all seems like a long time ago, but it's, it's really amazing. not. <laughs> Today, Shauna is going to give me a hand on something that I feel is a little bit of a divider, and that is crimps. Some people love them, some people hate them. Are you a lover or a hater? I'm a lover. What about you? Excellent. I, yeah, I love them. I'm trying to branch out a little more. But today, we're going to do some crimpy climbing. So we're going to pick out some crimpy projects in the new climbing hangar, Reading. We've got a lot to choose from, and Shauna going to try and help me get up some climbs and give me a masterclass in crimpy climbing. Should go and pick out our first Let's project? do it, yeah, let's go find some. This session with Shauna was supported by The Climbing Hangar, whose indoor bouldering gyms across the UK offer a welcoming environment to climb and train. We've been locals at The Climbing Hangar since we moved to Sheffield and we love the community vibe and the emphasis on inclusive, fun climbing for all. The Hangar have eight locations across the UK, so if you'd like to check one out, you can use code HANNA50 for a half price session using the link in the card or the description below. Before we get started, we figured it'd be good to go through an overview of the different grip types that you can use yeah. on crimps. So if you could explain that a little bit. If yeah. we jump onto the wall here, so this is actually a great hold to explain it with. So if we're going to talk about different grip types, mm -hmm. so obviously you've got loads of different holds, you know, you've got big pinches, slopers. But if we're just talking about crimps, I think there's pretty much three different ways to hold them with open hand grip. So some people call it a drag, so nice okay. and open on your fingers, none of the joints are bent. And then we've got half crimp, so we're in a nice 90 degree angle here. And some people have a preference over what grip type they're, they go to naturally. I am a half crimper all okay. the way. Some people are always open hand, um, and then others are full crimp, so like thumb mm -hmm. over, fingers nice and high, the palm gets really engaged as well. Sure. I really struggle to hold holds like this. Okay. Indoors, outdoors, I find it a bit easier. But I don't know, I just don't find it comfortable. Okay. Um, so yeah, we've, to go through, we've got open hand, half crimp, and then full crimp. Knowing what your preference is and where your strengths are with those grip yeah. types, you can go away and then train them on a fingerboard sure. or train them in the climbing gym as well by climbing like with intention. So trying to just climb only open hand or only half crimp. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, understanding the different grip types is important. And then okay. some people do what's called a chisel, I think, where you have these fingers bent and this one straight. But okay. My hand just doesn't seem to want to do that. <laughs> what would be the benefit of doing a chisel over? Is I guess is there like instances where you would employ one Versus over the other? So for me, being a little shorter, um, I often find that have, being strong for an open hand is useful, and understanding how to go from an open hand into a half crimp sure. without kind of putting too much strain. Uh, um, okay. And you'll find that shorter climbers often do climb open hand because they can get that little bit of extra reach, you, you know, the and then like have to come up onto the half crimp <laughs> or the full okay, crimp. Interesting. We've obviously got finger strength, which yeah. is super important, but then we've got our contact strength as well. Yeah. So I think understanding where you're strong and mm -hmm. then how to gain that finger strength and contact strength is really important. Want to try the red? I'll try the red. Yeah. I'll have a look at it. So this climb has got a few crimps, a few slopers, but it actually showcased the different grip types really well, I think. Mm. Yeah, nice, Anna. Is there a hold on the There hold? isn't. There's not? No. <laughs> what? There is not a hold on the next one. So you're happy, <sighs> happy on the crimps, eh? <sighs> it's a bit weird, that This one, one I felt this is like I got my full crimp yeah. on. So I, I think, I'll try you, and I think I would probably full crimp on that one as well. Yeah. Because it's so small, yeah. you know, it's hard to just kind of chill on it. Um, yeah. And then you're fully open on this hold, actually. Uh -huh. um, and you'll notice that when I open hand, my fingers are all like this. And some people, you included, your middle finger is slightly bent when yeah. you're open handing. And that's just what your hand looks like, you know? Okay. Everyone has different hand shapes, different hand sizes. Okay. Um, but I don't know why. And this looks kind of scary. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Oh. 
Ya. Yeah. Oh my god. Well, this is because I love crimping more than <laughs> anything else. <laughs> See, I'm such a crimp fan that I like avoided the move. To be honest, I think it's set to go like the the way you tried. Do you think? But I just down. felt a bit insecure. Yeah. And the strong, like, I kind of rely on my finger strength, especially mm -hmm. at the minute because I can't fall. So I'm yeah. like, oh, I just hold on tighter and reach. Yeah. <laughs> okay. This is quite an interesting one. I don't know if um, there's anything to be said about approaching. So like, straight on crimps. Mm -hmm. I feel pretty comfortable just like yeah straight down grabbing them straight down this one up here yeah. is like a, ve a, a sideways yes crimp is there anything that you do differently so to... for sure yeah it's a, it's a really good point as well and so we've got our fingers which are our contact with the wall yeah um having strong fingers is really useful and understanding like what our hands are doing is mm -hmm. essential but obviously that's all connected to everything else yeah um, so we have when the hold is sideways like this where our body is positioned will determine how much loads going through the hand okay so if you're up above it and pulling in on it it's going to be very different to if you're below it to if you're to the side of it with sure. a side pull obviously the holds good if you're this side of it yeah as soon as you get this side of it it gets bad mm -hmm. so understanding what your hips want to be so you yeah. can move around the hold is super important and that's not think the strength but it will determine how hard you have to pull with your fingers, right? Nice, Hannah. Ooh. Really good. Come on. Come on. Oh, it's so high, I right? don't know <laughs> why I thought I was gonna outflex uh, an Olympian. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got ideas above my station then. I was like, I could you make that flex. So close. Like, should I, maybe Do I should you think should... it felt good? Yeah, like, it felt... So just then as well, so you hit this and you had that chisel grip actually. So you yeah. were quite relaxed on this crimp hold. And then as soon as you needed to get up into this position, you had to change to the full crimp. So, sure. And it, it happened totally naturally that you didn't even think about it. So you're using different grip types so yeah. much naturally, which is really cool. But what I'd say is if you want to try that high foot again, you need that really strong full crimp on full this crimp. side so that you can get that weight all the way up there because it's super bunched. Climbing with intention, so understanding, okay, I'm going to try and to train finger strength. Mm -hmm. to, like climbing with intention is so useful. So you can do a session thinking, okay, I'm going to really focus on what my fingers are doing yeah. and try and train it whilst you're climbing as well. Yeah, you want to be on that one? Yeah. Oh, it's just a bit scary. Yeah. Oh, yeah. it's actually really good. If yeah. you can hit here, this above this screw hole. Okay. So good, chilling. That's it, foot's on really good. Come on, honey, you got it. Go on, go get it. So good. Come on. Yeah, <laughs> so close. That was like so a close. Half second. You were like that on like, it. Yeah. <laughs> what I would say as well is climb up and get into the position. Yeah. Feel how it feels Feel to be there. Because like. it's really hard when, especially on a fast movement, to know where mm -hmm. you want to stop. Just have a little feel around of what that position feels like. Okay. Yeah, you can step the foot through onto the higher one, foot out. Look at that crimp all over it. So I've got my mini pinch engaged. Yeah, I got that thumb working. Nice. Okay. Is there a style of climbing that you feel like you're particularly good at? Because being a comp climber, mm -hmm. I feel like I've asked a couple of people this question. And yeah, they've yeah. been like, I have to be a good all-rounder. Like I For have sure, to yeah. be good at everything. So there's nothing that I 
like prefer more mm -hmm. because I just have to focus on being a good all-rounder at everything. I think with comp climbing, you know, it, you need to be ready for whatever they put in front of you. So you do yeah. have to be a good all-rounder. But for me, I think it's important to have a super strength as well, you know, mm -hmm. so that you can fall back on and finger yeah. strength being was what I wanted my super strength to be. And I worked on that quite a lot. Like yeah. I trained finger strength so much. Mm -hmm. um, so in a comp, if I walked out and saw a crimpy block, I was like, yes, I am all over this. Mm -hmm. like the, I, I've won multiple World Cups mm -hmm. on the crimp block that no yeah. one else could do, you know? And there's yeah. literally one boulder that I remember, and it was in semi-finals of a World Cup in China that had this crimp boulder and I walked out like, like yes, yeah. this is mine, and I didn't do it. And two okay. other girls did, and it was like the first time ever in my career that I didn't yeah. do the crimp block. I think the first and only time. Yeah. Um, so apart from that one time, <laughs> I've been pretty consistent with the crimps, but um, yeah, I do think it's worth being ready for anything. Yeah. Um, but now my shift is like, I've shifted totally focus onto rock climbing. Okay. So I'm done with comps, like retired after Tokyo, so yeah, no yeah. more competitions. But I still love crimping and I still love training finger strength. And I think it's maybe more essential for rock climbing than comp yeah. climbing because, you know, holds get pretty tiny outdoors. Yeah. Um, and I want to try and climb some hard yeah, stuff definitely. outside. So you need to be able to hold some pretty dirty holds. Gnarly crimps. Um, yeah, gnarly crimps. But I just love it. I love crimping. Yeah. Um, I, I also love doing big dynamic, yeah. like powerful yeah, yeah. moves. But I, at the minute, because I need to feel secure on the wall. Yeah. Because I can't fall just yet um, due to like knee surgery. Mm -hmm. So like I've kind of come back to what feels secure. And for me, that's sure. the, the crimp. Yeah, definitely. I think, so I was saying before, I, when I started off climbing, I definitely found that my strength was in my fingers mm -hmm. and I spent a lot of time gravitating towards like crimpy yeah. vertical climbs. And I think because obviously there wasn't a demand on me to be an all round all climber round. to perform yeah. at competitions, I, there was nothing really to force me from that comfort sure, exactly. zone. And I think I, it's definitely something that I hear people say they do a lot. It's like you pick out your strength, yeah. And then just fo not focus on that, but like gravitate towards that and then develop weaknesses sure. in other areas that then yeah. you're like, oh, I'm not good at slab or I'm not good at dynamic stuff. And I do think that's the same like in the comp world because for me, well, we all go to what we're yeah. good at because it feels, feels good, nice. you know, it feels <laughs> yeah. nice to be successful yeah. and to, for it to work. Um, and it's, it's hard to work on your weaknesses. Yeah. Like I definitely had to work really hard to kind of force myself onto slab and force myself onto big pinchy blocks. Yeah. Um, which I now love like big pinches yeah. and slopers and yeah. stuff, but it wasn't a natural thing for me to learn to love. Yeah. Um, and I think with crimps, you know, some of us get totally sucked in. Some of it's, uh, it's like a love hate thing. Like you said yeah. at the yeah, beginning, absolutely. you know, like some people love it and some people hate it. But I think with climbing, the more you can do, the better in mm -hmm. the sense of, yeah, do the crimp blocks, do the sloper blocks, mm -hmm. um, go do some training if you want to, but you don't have to, you can train mm -hmm. on the wall. So it's kind of just doing as much as possible. More arrows to your bow. Yeah, yeah. and with finger strength, you know, it's not just crimps, it's yeah. kind of everything we contact with the wall is our mm -hmm. finger strength working. Okay. Um, whether you're holding a sloper or a pinch or a pocket, like mm -hmm. it's all finger strength that's working to mm -hmm. hold us to the wall. Makes sense. But... If you can learn to love the crimp, climbing gets learn a lot easier. Come over to the dark Learn side. to love the crimp. <laughs> Put that on a t-shirt. <laughs> There's a yellow on this wall here, mm -hmm. which is, I don't know, what angle would you say this is? It's about 20 like, degrees, I reckon. Which is, I definitely deep. classify this as a crimpy. Yeah, it's pretty crimpy, this yellow. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try it. Can you give it a go? Yeah, I'll try it. I feel like this is an interesting one because you've got like every angle of crimp. Yeah, and there's some like tiny crimps and then yeah. th there's like kind of bigger crimps in the middle. I nearly said jugs then, they are not jugs. <laughs> Small crimps, but with good feet is one thing. Mm -hmm. Small crimps, but with, I mean, these are yeah, probably this, good feet for you to be fair, but for me, these kind are of bad, not this great one. feet. It does, it's, this one's not in cut. Yeah. Right, how are we going? Upwards. Oh, I'd forgotten how much I actually love crimping. 
This whole video is just an, an ode to Crimpy. Yeah. Yeah, sure now. When I was climbing, I was using my thumbs a lot. Okay. So I'm quite conscious that when I put my hand on a crimp, whether I need to be full or squeezing or thumb off. Okay. So we've obviously got half crimp here and then full crimp here. This doesn't quite work for a full crimp sure. for me because my knuckles are hitting the wall, see? So my thumb goes here and I squeeze. And same here, my thumb will squeeze. So my thumbs do quite a lot of work when I'm crimping. Mini I'm actually just pinches. mini pinching. Yeah. I'm not even crimping. <laughs> like crimpy mini pinch. It's like my happy crimpy place is a crimpy pinch. mini pinch. <laughs> yeah. And then here I'm like back to half crimp again. Yeah. And then here I was in full crimp because it's quite a small hold. Mm. And when a cold's in cut, so like this one, the full crimp helps because it's cut, you kind of, if you're half crimping here, when you full crimp, you get a bit of pull outwards as well, mm -hmm. not just down. I can show you a crimpy climb in the roof if you want to see. Yeah, please steep, do. Steep yeah, crimps in our, is, this, is this your black? The black. Yeah. My black. <laughs> your black. My, my black climb. <laughs> it's my first black that I've done since being yeah. pregnant. Nice. So yeah, they're all quite in cut, so I'll need mm. to be full crimping on them. Okay. And because they're quite small as well. So for me, most of them I'll use a full crimp and then some of them I might use a half crimp. But see how this one's a bit of a funny shape? Mm -hmm. So like on rock climbs especially, when holds aren't like really linear and neat and tidy, you have to like wriggle your fingers in and sure. get in the right position. And often for me, a full crimp is better in that instance because you're trying to get as much as you can from what's there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, but yeah, it starts on these little guys. So this one's kind of tiny too, but yeah. you want to feel it? In like a weird way. Cause it's like, feels like it should be good. another way you get your mini pinch involved or would you do? I think I, I think I full crimp it, hit this and then turn it to a pinch to get okay. my feet set for the next move. Is this I a thing? You so don't use this in any no. sense. No. So okay. they put that on there to, this hold would have been too bad. Okay. No, no, they would have put oh, that I get to, it, make, to change the angle. Change the angle of the hold. Nice. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna brush it. Yeah, it's great hold. Out for you. Nice. Nice. Yeah, come on. Yeah. Yeah. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, it's like. <laughs> Yeah, tiny holds. And brand new holds as well. Yeah, they're nice. kind of bitey. Ooh, nice. That's it. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, so strong fingers is useful, but being mm -hmm. able to move between them, you know how you I have to like, I have to go for it. Yeah. I can't just like dangle. Yeah, you can see on this one, you like hit it and then your fingers are like. Yeah, straight. like get involved. Yeah, yeah. That's probably the best demonstration of crimping yeah. in here. For a boulder, not me doing it. I wasn't gonna, like, <laughs> that is the best you're gonna get. <laughs> yeah, that's the best demonstration of crimping you're ever gonna see. <laughs> so this white one's really good for crimping, because it's got loads of kind of the similar size crimps, but different mm -hmm. angles. Sure. You want to try this one? Yeah. It does start with a powerful move to a pocket though. Okay. So do you want to go first or? I'll, yeah, I'll try. Yeah, yeah I'll yeah. try. Yeah. Am I just going up here? Yeah. Oh, can you put the other foot on? Swap feet. Left outside edge on the little guy. Yeah. Oh. Nice. Really good. Really good, Hannah. The next one's good. Oh, oh no! <laughs> I it's like it's slow like gas out. You've been like for so long. <laughs> if you can like move through that, how not like to that. climb efficiently? <laughs> it's hard when you've not been on something before. The yeah, outside edge left Beautiful. was like aha. Yeah. So that's powerful, and then you're on like the crimp. So this one's you want to bump again here. Mm -hmm. So you're using this crimp to like get the height. Yeah. So you're staying on this little guy, and then hitting that one. And this one's better than this one. Okay. So you kind of have the bad one, intermediate, and then bump again, and then it eases off. 
just like it gets a bit movie. So it you looks know, we a bit nicer. Yeah, and you have to just keep the weight moving around mm -hmm. the holes as opposed to pulling on them. Okay. Because they're not super in cut. You don't want to get really high on them. You want to stay nice and underneath them. Low. Okay. You can show me how it's done. I can <laughs> try. <laughs> So many crimps. Lovely. Yeah. I think what's really clear to see watching you climb it is like the importance of, like you said, body position and disease. Mm -hmm. Like the higher you are, the worse the they are. The harder it is to hold on. So the lower you are, the better. And like you could see how you like adjust your hips mm -hmm. to be able to sink low. Yeah, to stay nice underneath. and underneath the hold. That one's not great, but the next one I promise is better. So. Uh, so you've ended up with right foot here, right foot here. You went left foot then right foot, it's like a boost, so using that thumb as well to gain more from the crimp. Yes Hannah, nice foot Ooh. in the pocket, next one's good so you're going round the, oh my yeah, gosh, you got it. You got a knee bar. Nice! <laughs> I mean with a little assistance from the yeah, black. Yeah you got the little foot on here, step up, yeah there you go. Match if you need, nice, Hannah. Ooh, it's a bit of a like slightly out of balance. Do you like think Brink coming into match probably scuppered me a little bit? No, I think that will help. Okay. Um, and the neck holds better, like below the bolt hole, mm -hmm. so that you want to aim to the bolt hole and left, not okay. too high. It's just a bit of a weird move. I did wonder whether you could get your foot up actually. Mhm. Mm I'll look for you. Oh. I think if you want to match, that might help. Yeah. It is actually super ink at this one. You like, you, if you can hit it and be in a half crimp, that would be really good. That was smart knee bar. <laughs> smart climbing. <laughs> you said before that crimping is kind of like your thing, like your superpower. What's been, like, how, how have you established that as kind of like your thing that you're like really good at? Is it through like training finger strength on a hangboard, gravitating towards crimp climbs mm -hmm. like at the gym? Yeah, I think for me, naturally, I half crimp. So I yeah. want to be in that half crimp position. And I started climbing when I was four years old. So okay. I've kind of got a lot of moves in the bank of climbing in that yeah. like grip type. Um, and I do think there's a natural element to finger strength. You know, some people have stronger fingers mm -hmm. than others. Like, I know people who can like just come up and hang off a beast maker having never climbed before in their lives. And it's insane, you know, whereas other people just can't yeah. do that. But then there's the trained element too. So I think naturally I have strong fingers, mm -hmm. but I've trained them a lot as well. So kind of both maybe yeah. is the answer to that. But I do think even if you don't have naturally strong fingers, you can train them and get them stronger, sure. both on the wall and then off the wall as well. Yeah. And there are so many different ways to train finger strength. You can do it on a beast maker, you can mm -hmm. do it on a board, you can do it on climbs. Um, yeah. You can even start training like your lumbar core, so the muscles in your hands with like a little squishy ball and things yeah. like that. Um, I mean, my husband quite literally wrote the book on training <laughs> finger strength, yeah. peacemaking, if you've not got it. Um, but yes, he definitely knows a lot more than yeah. me. Um, but I think it's just an endless way, an endless topic to talk about, and an endless way to get better at climbing, because they are our contact with the wall, you know? Sure. They're what holds us onto the wall. Mm -hmm. But to progress, you do need to have it all connected, for sure. Yeah. Um, but yeah, for me, I think I naturally was good at crimping and then I embraced it and trained it uh, yeah. even more. And I still, I feel like I need to do what I call maintenance sessions. Mm -hmm. So I fingerboard still weekly yeah. and did throughout my pregnancy as well. Um, because I need to like stay on top of it almost. Mm -hmm. And I'm not doing max hangs. I'm just doing like little maintenance sessions sure. to keep weight going through my fingers. Yeah. Um, just so it 
my tendons feel good. Oh, if I don't, then my hands feel kind of gross. I guess, I, I think a lot of people, perhaps myself included, have a bit of a misconception about hangboarding or fingerboarding as like something that you do just to get stronger. Yeah. And I think it's overlooked that actually it's a really good tool for rehab and injury prevention. Oh my goodness. I'm warming up. I use a fingerboard yeah. to warm up every session. Mm -hmm. um, I think if you can acquaint yourself with a fingerboard and do it in a way that suits your ability, because mm -hmm. you don't need to be super strong. You mm -hmm. don't need to be an experienced climber. You can fingerboard with your feet on the ground and just take like a tiny yeah. little bit of weight and it's introducing that load slowly to your tendons yeah because as my physio always likes to remind me tendons hate surprises okay so it's <laughs> gradually introducing load whether yeah. that's on the climbing wall you know we we all should warm up not many people yeah. do um, yeah but you do want to introduce that load gradually and it's the same with fingerboarding you want to introduce it slowly and board climbing you want yeah. to introduce it slowly um but I'd say for me, board climbing and fingerboarding are essential for me to feel good on the wall. Okay. I can't climb crimps and climbs like this without having uh -huh. done like a solid base of fingerboarding and board climbing sure. to, to train. With, especially with sessions like this, when you're really focusing on like mm -hmm. crimpy climbing, it's really important to warm up. Mm -hmm. So Shauna and I did do a warm up before we started filming. <laughs> yeah. And what I will do is like, cut, like link out or card out to, there's loads of videos on your YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah. Of like fingerboard warm ups, like how to warm up, which are a really good resource for if you're like stuck for ideas or protocols or like sessions for warm ups specifically, which I definitely feel I could utilize more. I'm not the best at warming up, as we all know. Having a good warm up. <laughs> changes the game for sure and it, it's annoying to figure it out and it's annoying to do sometimes but even if it's 10 15 I mean ideally more like 30 minutes yeah but if it's just some things that you do I think mean, you see people doing theraband warm-ups you see mm. people doing like jogging around getting warm but we need to warm our fingers up so much yeah speaking as someone who's had many finger injuries please yeah. warm your fingers up it's yeah. so worth it <laughs> Nathan will be feeling so smug behind the camera because Nathan's warm-ups like 40 minutes and every time we go climbing together I'm like come on let's oh go let's God. go like, how are you still warming up and he's like diligently yeah. does his warm-up and I riff like riff him all the time mm -hmm. for it but my warm-up for comps used to be an hour and a half yeah and I'd take my own fingerboard with me so I knew I could like make sure my fingers were perfectly warm uh, I'd do a load of climbing admittedly now I have a baby <laughs> my warm-up is kind of non-existent because I'm like I have this long to climb go go Abridged go climbing. Um, yeah <laughs> And I actually pretty much stopped warming up for the first like six months when I was coming back and then I paid the price and my body felt really clunky. So I've okay. started to reintroduce it. Um, and my fingers and my shoulders were like getting grumpy at me for not warming up. So I've been on both sides and yeah. I would say warming up's definitely Tried and the tested. side you want to be on. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Being well rested now, ready for this yeah. white again. Yeah. So it was on here. Yeah, and then right foot through. That's it, Anna. Matching if you need. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. It's good, right? <laughs> so see good. how you kind of kept going there. And remember, I was saying about that foot being planted for the momentum if you go over. Yeah. So you didn't even match then. No. Did you? I think I just, just not like. To? Just like I'm, I'm going, going for, for it. it. <laughs> so I think if you do match it'll stop that sideways movement because you'll just be traveling sure. upwards. Yeah. But now you know it's good. I think if you can come in for the match and then go up. Yeah. And I think what will happen is you'll hit it open hand and I think you want to be in a half crimp. Okay. So it's that adjustment that you'll need to do. And for an adjustment, what's useful to know is if you hit it like this and you want to be in that half crimp, pull, doing this pull is really difficult for our tendons. Okay. Like it's super hard. But if you use your um, momentum a little bit to like bump into the half crimp, nice. you can use your okay. feet. <laughs> okay, so that brings to an end our session on crimps. My fingers are definitely feeling like they've been mm -hmm. crimping, but I've definitely learned a lot. So thank you so much for your time. And you'll be catching me at Sheffield Hangar doing my, yeah. my drills and my, uh, my warm-up. Movement up. drills and warm-ups <laughs> and lots of crimping. I think, yeah, with crimping, you know, there's so many different ways to train it, but climbing at the wall and being on crimps with intention. And as soon as you start to feel that tiredness in your hands, give it a break and move on to something else. Don't push it too hard, let mm -hmm. those tendons be nice and eased into crimping. Yeah. But um, yeah, yeah, definitely the best way to get better at crimping is to do it. Mm -hmm. Finger strength is kind of built between sessions. Like, yes, on the wall, 
but there's a huge element of kind of like training in between. Mm -hmm. So um, I guess, it, do you have like recommendations for uh, kind of effective ways to do that between, like off the wall between sessions? Yeah, buy my husband's book because it's all in there. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I think as well, there's so much on your YouTube channel, right? Like videos yeah. of uh, finger strength training specific. You know, videos. this is something that's relevant to where you're at. So. Mm -hmm. First off, understanding the different grip types, yeah. which I did do a video on. Mm -hmm. I don't even know if that ever made it onto YouTube. Maybe I need to find that. Um, <laughs> Coming soon. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. <laughs> so understanding the different grip yeah. types and then how to introduce them on the wall, how yeah. to train them. So yes, it's good to train off the wall if you're at a point where that's useful for you. Mm -hmm. So if you're someone who climbs once a week and you need to supplement that or want to supplement that because you don't have time to get to the wall or it's far yeah. away, you know, it's so personal to each individual. Mm -hmm. But there's so many different ways to train it yeah. um, that we could, I mean, we could talk about this <laughs> all day. I love talking uh -huh. about finger strength, but yeah, it's definitely got to be specific to your ability and where you're at and relevant to you as okay. an individual. So how much you do and then resting is so important as well. So giving your tendons okay. time to recover mm -hmm. to not just kind of hammering them every day. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, they can get real strong with just yeah. a bit of like nudging and guidance. Okay, perfect. Well, thank you so much for your time today and thank you so much to the hangar for having yeah. us and letting us climb in their lovely it's new such gym. A nice it's a really cool here. space. I don't want to leave. <laughs> <laughs> Should we just stay? Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! <laughs>